The video excels at putting off a vibe. And what is that vibe? It's a vibe that communicates, join us if you want to get into a shootout with the culture. Join us if you want to poke fun at all the limp-wristed Christians out there. Join us if you want to be like Doug Wilson in trolling other people and setting things on fire. By the way, Doug does, I mean, I wonder if he knows this. Doug doesn't literally go around setting things on fire. You know who actually does that? Purple-haired leftists and Black Lives Matter. The only thing Doug ever sets on fire is uh, stage props. And it's for fun. And it's once a year in a cool video that is very well produced and a lot of people like. And it brings a lot of people to read his blog, which exposes them to biblical truth, which is a lot more than what the Gospel Coalition does. But at least, at least the Gospel Coalition doesn't produce these videos where somebody is burning down TikTok. At least they don't do that. What they do instead is publish good faith debates where they encourage people to believe in things like critical race theory and why abortion is okay and why you shouldn't have guns and so on. That's, that's the real culture movers and changers that Jesus likes. Huh, he says, Wilson's approach depends on a fundamentally oppositional framework. The Moscow mood provides a nonstop adversarial stance towards the world and towards other Christians who are deemed or caricatured to be too afraid to tell it like it is. Now, this seems like he's personally offended by this statement. Like, like Doug Wilson is oppositional towards people who are too afraid to, quote, tell it like it is. Uh, Kevin DeYoung, in his Evangelical Elite podcast that I listen to, I just listened to part of this one podcast, and he he came out directly and said, like I said earlier, that, you know, if people just tell it like it is all the time, they can't build anything. So we can't tell it like it is. We have to conceal our true thoughts. We have to appease people. He literally did use the word appease. Uh, so, like, Kevin DeYoung is like pure Big Eva. He's a goon. He is, he's, but, but he's not a big Big Eva goon, like Tim Keller was. He's like a low-level Big Eva crony. Yeah, like maybe maybe one day he'll level up to the goon. But right now he's just a Big Eva crony because he's kind of a no-name little chump fella that writes some decent books sometimes, but he has some awful opinions behind the scenes. And he does this because he does not tell it like it is. 